We begin with late breaking developments in Hawaii after that incoming ballistic missile alert sent the state into a panic. Our team inside the control room, the scene of that human error, the employee who triggered the false alarm now off the job and there are more changes to come. Residents outraged about the 38 minutes of terror they endured. New video shows people running for their lives. One father trying to save his daughter by ordering her into a manhole, others hiding inside bunkers built during World War II. And now this revelation. Hawaiian officials knew the alarm was false within three minutes. So why did it take so long to give the all clear? And is President Trump's administration doing enough to prepare for the real thing? ABC's Jim Avila starts us off in Honolulu. Tonight, the veteran technician who sent Hawaii into a panic that a ballistic missile was a mere 12 minutes from impact has been removed from the command center and will not be allowed near the button that sent the alert until after extensive retraining. This is Hawaiian officials changed the way they send out alerts, trying to prevent a repeat human error. The U.S. Pacific Command has detected a missile threat to Hawaii. The terrifying warning took 38 minutes to correct. If you are outdoors, seek immediate shelter in a building. Despite officials conceding, they knew there was no incoming missile within three minutes. This is not a drill. The mistake causing chaos like this father to push his daughter down a manhole to save her. I mean, Others calling loved ones for that last goodbye. Let me call my wife and tell her I love her. This lucky family had a house with a World War II bunker. They used it, piling in for this 2018 threat. The part of the message that made me panic was, this is not a drill. Hawaii's governor said it all happened because a wrong button was pressed. And tonight, officials temporarily suspending future drills and changing the rules. It'll be a two person, whenever that mouse click or that application is selected and it's pushed, there'll be two people there watching it. Today, the congresswoman who first tweeted that this was all a false alarm had these harsh words. It's an epic failure of leadership. Yes, it was, it was unacceptable that this went out in the first place, but the fact that it took so long for them to put out that second message to calm people, to allay their fears that this was a mistake, a false alarm, is something that has to be fixed, corrected, with people held accountable. The FCC, which helps manage the emergency alert system, launching its own investigation saying the government of Hawaii did not have reasonable safeguards to prevent the transmission of a false alert. We went inside the building that monitors incoming threats and alerts across the islands. Now, this thing yesterday was, was a big mistake on our part, and I want to make sure that we work to get the credibility back. And tonight, there are questions about if the federal government is ready for the real thing. A White House official telling ABC News the Trump administration has yet to test formal response plans in the event of a nuclear missile attack on the United States. And Jim Avila joins us now live from Honolulu. The White House pushing back, saying they plan to conduct a drill next month. But there in Hawaii, Jim, you're learning more about why it took local officials those 38 whole minutes to correct that error. That's right, Cecilia. There were actually two mistakes made. First, the false alarm, and second, the application that would have told that computer to broadcast that there was no false alarm, that it was a mistake, was not loaded. And so it took 38 minutes for officials to load it. Now it's in the machine. Jim Avila leading us off tonight. Thank you.